Hi there, how you doing? Dr. J here. Today we're going to talk about heart function and how the heart function relates to chiropractic care. Now one of the most common causes of a heart attack is actually not the one that you would typically think of. When people think of causes of a heart attack, you think of blocked arteries due to poor nutrition like high cholesterol, things like that. But one of the most common causes of a heart attack has to do with electrical impulses, nerve impulses. The most dangerous heart attack to have, the one they call the widow maker, is entirely related to electrical impulse failure of the heart. So what does this have to do with chiropractic care? Well, the nerves in the upper thoracic area are the ones that control heart function. So the brain controls the heart by sending messages down the spinal cord out the upper thoracic nerve openings, say T2, T3, T4, T5. These nerve roots come out of that area of the upper back and they control heart function, sympathetic nerve flow. And that's how we get the heart to work. So if a heart attack can be caused by irregular or improper electrical impulses from the nerves, then my opinion on chiropractic care by stimulating nerves is a way to improve heart function or to keep the nerve impulses flowing to the heart. So as part of heart health, you can see just getting regular chiropractic care would be of benefit. Now, there's also a relationship to chiropractic care and blood pressure. There's um, special nerves in the upper area of the neck that actually control blood pressure flow. So if the upper neck is out of alignment and it's pressing on these nerves, then we can have erratic blood pressure, whether it's too high or too low. So research has been done in this area using medical cardiologists and chiropractors where they took patients with high blood pressure and they found in that group, certain numbers of that group had misalignments in the neck and the ones who had the misalignments in the neck were able to lower their blood pressure by getting their neck adjusted. So there's a definite relationship to heart function and heart health and chiropractic and its relationship is all through the nervous system. The nervous system controls the function of everything in the body. So it's vitally important to make sure those nerves are flowing the way they're supposed to so that your heart is getting all the electrical nerve impulses it's supposed to to work properly. All right, so there's always a story I used to tell. There was this a, a Russian Olympic figure skater who died of a heart attack at 24 years old. Now, I make up this story just to make a point. I mean, that's a fact. The, the Russian skater died at 24 of a heart attack. So where I tie this in to give you an example is, is I'll typically start this story by saying, when you learn to ice skate, do you fall down? Well, the answer is, of course you fall down. And Let's say you want to be a figure skater and you, and you know how to ice skate now, but now you want to be a figure skater and you're starting to learn these tricks. And as you're learning these tricks, do you fall down? And the answer is, of course, you do fall down. So even when you're an Olympic skater and you're going from the double pirouette to the quadruple pirouette, the first few times you're trying it, do you fall down? And the answer is, of course, you do fall down. So in the case of this Olympic skater, it's safe to say that he had subluxated vertebra in his back from falling and hitting the ice. So what if these subluxated vertebra were pressing on nerves that controlled his heart function from the time he was, say, 12 years old up until the time he was 24? That irritation on those nerves that's going to affect the electrical impulses into the heart is going to have a, a negative effect on heart function. 
So you can see, now I don't know, I can't say for sure, you know, I don't know the, the, the facts in that story, but I just wanted to use it as an analogy to, um, to tie in heart function and subluxated vertebra. Okay, so that skater, he died of a heart attack at 24. It's safe to say he fell a lot, landed on his back. Maybe he misaligned the vertebra. Maybe he put pressure on the, on the nerves to the heart, which interfered with electrical impulses. And then at 24, he gets a heart attack because there was no other reason why he got the heart attack. And as I stated in the very beginning, the most common cause of a widow-maker heart attack is electrical nerve impulses. Okay, so this is how your heart is related and heart health is related to chiropractic care. So please keep that in mind that every time you get an adjustment, we're stimulating those nerves to help your heart get the neural impulses it needs to function properly. All right, I'll see you in the next video.